With critical value approach, we convert the alpha into a Z value, which is the Z, Z critical itself. Remember the normal probability distribution. It's a bell-shaped curve where the line here contains the Z value and the area under the curve is just the probability. So alpha represent the probability of an error or the reject area. So for example, we are doing the one tail left tail test. This is the area of the alpha, which is the rejection area. So let's say that our alpha equals to 5%. Now we want to uh, determine our Z critical. This Z critical is the borderline for you to reject, which is this area, the reject area. and not the reject area. The area unshaded is the not rejection area. So to get it, you go to the table and you convert this alpha into Z value. How to do it? As you know that alpha is the probability, so you find PZ equals to 0 0.05 from your table. You will get Z equals to minus between minus 1.64 and minus 1.65 to get 0 0.05. So we will uh, de determine the Z critical to be minus 1.645 with alpha equals to 5%. Based on this result, the rejection would be reject annul if Z statistic is smaller and it's negative because it's in uh, the left side smaller than the minus z critical why the logic is because if you go to, more to the left the z statistic would be in this area so the value of the z statistic must be smaller than the value of negative z critical the same procedure if you are doing a right tail test then the rejection rule would be reject hanol if z statistic now it's positive because in the right side it will have a positive value greater than z critical remember that in uh, the average is zero for, for the Z value, the average uh, is equal to zero. So in this side, it would, the Z critic, the, the Z value would be negative, and in this side, the Z value would be positive. And based on this two rule, we can construct a global rule, which you can use for a right tail or a left tail or, or even for a two tail. As you see here, if you put an absolute value here, this value would be positive and the sign would change to the other side. So the global value is Z statistic, absolute value is greater than absolute value Z critical. You see um, how this can be used for either for the left tail test or the right tail test. If it's a two tail, Remember, you just need to divide your alpha into two, then convert it into a Z critical, I mean the Z value, to get the Z critical. If we use the p-value approach, the rejection rule is reject H null when p-value is smaller than alpha. P-value is obtained from Z statistic. So if um, you know that you will get the Z statistic from the formula, after getting the Z statistic, you convert it to the P-value just, just by finding 
through the z table where p z equals to z statistic and that is the value of your p value it will be in a probability or in decimal now let me tell you the logic why the rejection rule is as such if you draw the the normal probability distribution remember from the critical value approach you reject h null let's say it's a left side left tail test yeah this is the rejection area and this is the z critical you reject h null if the z statistic falls in the rejection area and you know that p value is obtained from the z statistic if z crit if the area of the z critical to the left uh, shows the alpha the probability of the error then we can say that the p value is the area um, bordered by this z statistic and falls in this region in other words the area of uh, p value yeah the area of p value must be smaller than the area of the alpha 